guys, welcome back to The Shannon Show. So today's video is going to be a week update on my natural slash healthy hair journey and just basically showing my progress and giving you uh, my experience as a week being a baldy. And if you are thinking about having the big chop, if you're thinking about going all the way down, down to the scalp, just a little, just some little like info on what to expect really. So obviously this is, this is the progress. I have some growth, especially like around like the back of my the back of my head, more growth. I'm still a bit patchy near the front. Hopefully, I don't have alopecia and that is just gonna grow eventually. But it's taking its it's taking its time a bit. Hopefully, by next week, I'll see some major growth. Like it's it is growing. It's still a bit stubbly, but it's not as as thick as the top of my head, as you can see. It's not as, as thick all the way at the front. But you know, growing in that lot. I feel like by next week, if I haven't, if the front hasn't grown enough, I feel like I'm just gonna have to throw a wig on because it's just gonna look like the the more hair that grows, it's just gonna look even more and more patchy. So yeah, I might have to throw on a wig on next week if that doesn't catch up because it's just gonna look a bit crazy. Anyway. So, what is it like being bold? Well, I think I'm almost at like a level one now. So yeah, I've already seen some growth, but being a baldy, being bold, um, the first thing that I noticed was the breeze. Like everywhere you go, you can feel the breeze, whether you're in the kitchen, in the bathroom, outside, the breeze, you can just feel it. Like it's, very, it's a very intense, feeling like your scalp is just very hypersensitive and also when you touch it it's very hypersensitive it feels like you're like a baby like a brand new baby like it's like you know when you like cream yourself you feel your fingers but you don't really feel them if you get what I mean but when I was touching my scalp now it's just kind of like normal but when I was like bold bald when someone would touch my scalp like I could really feel their fingers it's so weird um, and yeah, also with the breeze, you can also feel like the heat. The sun isn't really that intense. It actually feels quite nice on the back of your head or wherever it hits. It kind of just hit me at the back of my head. It didn't really hit the, the front or anything. I don't know if you can, uh, I have been quite out quite a bit. I don't know if my scalp has tagged because it was looking very pale before I went out. I don't know if it's tagged or not. But yeah, have I been going out bold? Or have I been wigging it? Yeah, I've just been going out bold. I definitely preferred the way that it looked when I was like bold, bold. Yeah, I just need the front to grow back like ASAP, like at least like start growing back a bit more thicker. But yeah, it's getting to the point where I have to make a decision to wig it or shave it, shave it again. So yeah, I think it's getting to that point where I need it to grow or I'm just gonna have to put a wig on and wait until the front grows back a bit more thicker and then go out again. So yeah, that's kind of how it kind of feels. Um, in terms of uh, another thing that you should know before going bold or that you should know is that people stare at you. Like people are gonna stare at you and obviously, in my day-to-day -day life, I rarely actually see any bold women, period. Like, as, and especially rare to kind of see a bold young woman as well. So yeah, people are gonna stare at you. Like everyone, not even just kids, everyone, adults too, they're gonna stare at you. So just be prepared to for people staring at you. If you have like really bad anxiety, I'd say give yourself a pep talk. If you are gonna brave it and go out without a wig, be prepared for people to be staring at you. Um, what other things did I find out? I found out I've got a good head shape. Like I'm actually really happy with my head shape. It's quite well-rounded. I think I've got a little dent here, but it's not really that visible. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if that's visible guys, but I have got a little dent here. And then maybe I was dropped on my head and I just didn't know as a baby. <laughs> but yes, I have got a little dead, but overall I'm pretty I'm really happy with my head shape. 
Do I regret shaving my head? No. I've had a lot of people like comment that I'm very brave to shave my head. Um, I was literally just over it. I just wanted the hair to be gone. Like I've been telling myself like I was gonna shave my head for the longest of times because my hair was just so broke. So it was just kind of like a no brainer for me to just let it go because it's like, you know, some of my hair was long, but it was just like the rest of it, like the edges were, were short. It just, I just needed to let it go, honey. Also, what I found is that I'm washing my hair like every three days now, like every three days it just gets so itchy. And I think because you have like no hair to kind of, for the like itchiness or the dandruff or the flakes to hang on to, it's just like gets really irritating. Before I literally um, wash my like wash my hair every month. Longest I would go was like three months, but I've been washing my hair every three days because it just starts to get really itchy, and I feel like when it starts to get itchy, that's when you need to start washing it. So I feel like be prepared to wash your hair more often, but it's a lot more simpler. Like before, I'd have to have like three squidges of shampoo. Now it's literally just one. Conditioning is so easy, like it literally takes like no more than 10 minutes to actually wash my hair. So it's a way, it's a way quicker process than it usually is. Obviously there's less hair to deal with. So obviously it's gonna be quicker. Obviously no stranger has come up to me and touched my head, but my siblings have touched my head a lot. Like they just touch your head. So if you have any siblings, like, or like a boyfriend or, or a partner, be prepared for them to just touch your head, like, with no permission either. Like, it's just very rude, but be prepared for somebody to actually touch your head. Like, I've had people slap my head. My siblings have, some of my siblings have been cool. I'm not gonna name the names, you know who you are, but slapping my head, come on. Slapping my head is very unnecessary. So yeah, if you have one of those annoying siblings, be prepared for them to touch your head or slap your head. Be prepared for that. And yeah, also with the stairs, I'd say I was like at McDonald's and I'm pretty sure that the person thought that I had cancer. Like when I was like really bold, bold, like the way that she was smiling at me and serving me my drink, like I asked for a cup holder and usually I'd be the one doing it myself. Like usually they'll give me a cup holder and then I'd put the, I'd put the drinks in myself. But she went out of her way to put the drinks, to put the drinks in the cup holder and she did it very slow and the whole time she was just smiling at me. And it wasn't like, oh yeah, it's a nice day, let me smile at you. It was that smile, it's that it was that sympathetic smile. So I definitely think I definitely think that she thought I had cancer. So yeah, if you go all the way down bold, be prepared for people to kind of like look at you and give you that sympathetic smile. I did I did feel very weird about that and I feel like that would be very annoying to get if I actually did, if I actually did have an illness. And I feel like that would get really old really quick. You, you will get a lot of suggestions of what to do with your hair. I've had a suggestion to grow it out and texturize it. I've had um, suggestions. I've had suggestions to go to um, a modeling agency. I had suggestions to um, dye it blonde. Um, I had suggestions to go get a shape up. You're gonna get all the suggestions, girl. All the suggestions that you didn't ask for. I guess people mean well, but you're gonna get a lot of suggestions. Oh yeah, and, and what do you call it? When people, when your siblings get angry at you, they're gonna call you baldy. It's very annoying. It, it, it gets very old very quick, but yeah, they're gonna call you baldy. So be prepared to be called baldy. And also be prepared for like um, people to react. react like very exact, um, very exaggerated reactions. Like I told my friend, I was gonna meet up with her and she was like, I, I did tell her I was gonna shave my head, but I guess I didn't, I guess she didn't think I was serious because I've literally been saying it for like six months, I'm gonna shave my head, I'm gonna shave my head. And then she came, she came to my house, well she came to my place and then she was just like, Ooh! and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the fuck is it? And then I remembered I was bold and that's why she was, that, and that's why she was shocked. So yeah, be prepared for those reactions when you show people the first time. I think everybody was like, like literally when I came home, my sisters were like, take your hat off, take your hat off, we wanna see. 
Um, but my dad, he actually just didn't didn't say anything. I think he was just like, I had to be like, um, hello. Do you notice anything different about me? Uh, I guess that's just how dads are. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions, if you're still like on the fence on whether you should shave your head or not. And if you have shaved your head, let me know if you have like any funny experiences being a bold person. <laughs> That's the end of my video. I'm currently two away from hitting 310 subscribers. So if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, till next time guys, bye.